Hi, welcome back to the Brush with Brit channel. We're gonna talk about tips for your national board exam as a dental hygienist. I did graduate in 2020, so my experience with the national board exam was a little bit crazy. I initially started studying for the exam three months prior to the exam. I was set to take the exam in March, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I started studying during winter break in December. And it was recommended by the school to go to a live board review, which I did do and yes it was helpful but at the end of it when I got home I just felt very lost in how to study and I didn't have an organized method of studying I just had this book with all of this information and I didn't really know how to navigate it at the time I mean it was really difficult because I was working I was going to dental hygiene school I didn't have very much money and I had just invested all of this money into a live board uh, review and it just it didn't give me the confidence that I was looking for. So I ended up getting student RDH and that was a lifesaver for me. Doing a board review is great and there are so many different options out there. I think it's worth doing your own research and picking which one works best for you because they're all a little bit different. But for me personally, student RDH was absolutely amazing. I loved the memory techniques, the visuals, it was very organized and I just really enjoyed it for those reasons. And I I felt like it boosted my confidence. I also had a lot of those question books like there's Darby, um, there's a bunch of different ones that you can find online so I think it's definitely worth taking as many practice tests as you can and don't be discouraged if you do score lower on those exams because they are made to be very hard to help to prepare you for the questions that are on the exam so even if you do um, not so great on those test questions it's okay you're gonna be okay but as long as you're practicing you know keep building those skills um, of being able to like read through the case studies and all of that which leads me to case studies I I definitely think you know practice as many case studies as you can because it does take a lot of time to read through those and kind of figure out what exactly they're trying to ask you and some of them can be very tricky so you just want to have that practice with doing the study exams. I started studying with my hardest subject first that way I could constantly have time to come back to it and do refreshers until I felt better. I definitely think it's worth you know figuring out which subject is your hardest and starting to study with that and then constantly coming back to that same subject and kind of doing like a refresher. How to prepare for like the day of the exam. I actually went to the testing site the day before and I walked all the way up to the room that I was gonna be in so that I could just know exactly where I was gonna go and be able to feel very prepared. I ate a very good breakfast that morning. I did meditation, I did some yoga, I did like some envisioning of myself like going into the testing site and like taking the test practice your breathing techniques too essential oils are also really great just to help like maybe some lavender so for some calming effects because I didn't want to be like super hyped up on coffee um, so that morning I did have I think I had green tea the testing site also provided earplugs which I had never taken a test like that before and I found that to be very helpful because I'm easily distracted by like all the little noises so I highly recommend using those depending on the testing site they'll provide you with either like some like white pieces of paper to write on or like a whiteboard to write on well before the exam have it planned out what exactly you are gonna write on that whiteboard you can literally write whatever you want things like your staging and grading your ASA types fluoride numbers your hypertension categories and you can even write out all the different tooth numbers because it does you know when you're taking a test sometimes you can forget the simple things I also wrote down for like pharmacology like your OLOLs, your AOLs, your statins. Oh have a very specific plan as to what you are going to write on that whiteboard. In the caption, I will leave a link to my podcast episode. It's titled Conquering the NBDHE and I recorded that episode with Emily Bogey who actually works with dental hygiene seminars. I highly recommend listening to that episode. I think it's almost an hour long, just full of tips for this exam. The best thing that you can do to ease your anxiety is to prepare for the exam and study. The more prepared you feel, the less anxiety anxiety you'll feel. So make sure you are being strategic about your studying and that you are putting in the work to build that confidence. And it's going to be okay. You got this. Good luck. And please let me know once you pass your exam. Love you guys so much. Bye.